street is recycling, which is really, really sad. It's 2016 and we live in downtown Los Angeles and there's no method of recycling. What? What did you find? This is a camera mounted light. And there's something in there? Yeah, these are brand new from Aperture. And someone threw that away? Yeah. These are brand new. These are brand new. Yeah. The guys at Aperture have been super cool in sending us a bunch of stuff. And then all of a sudden, I found two Aperture lights that were accidentally tossed. Who put them in here? We don't know. This is the quandary. Yeah. Did I fail to delegate? Or did the person who did that fail to listen to my instructions? This is not your fault. Common sense dictates that if you're going to throw a cardboard box away, you look to make sure that there's nothing else in it before you pitch it. Did you throw this box away? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, maybe. I could have. We made two videos so far on trying to make a VR backpack. First attempt, unsuccessful. We didn't have enough power for the laptop. Second attempt was with this Gigabyte laptop, the Orus. The laptop ran games just fine when plugged in, but when unplugged, the laptop battery, it actually still ran the games, but only ran them for about 15 minutes. The solution is to make the laptop think it's plugged in by plugging it into a much more powerful battery. Aorus X7, made by Gigabyte. And this laptop has a desktop 980 GPU in it. VR games are so demanding. It's two 1900 by 1200 screens running at 90 frames per second. But we need to make it mobile. Spencer and I came up with a plan. These are 1600 milliamp hour LiPo batteries. And this battery would power this laptop for over an hour. However, this battery runs at 22.2 volts and this laptop requires 19 volts. We devised a little solution. Right here is a voltage step-down puck. We're going to feed the battery into this puck, step down the voltage, and then run that into the laptop. So hopefully, all that combined, we'll have a nice, easy to use VR rig, no wires, you can swing your arms wildly, and fight all those demons with your giant swords, and not get tangled up into your wire ever again. And that is the ultimate gaming experience. So, you guys want to hear a story? Here's a fun little story for you guys. What happened this morning? I'm still asleep. Roto, my cat, starts pouncing next to me, and I'm like, bah, bah. it's kind of annoying because I'm still trying to sleep, but like, whatever. And she, she likes to chew stuff. She actually chewed a hole in the sheet. I'm like, oh man, Roto's just playing with like the torn part of the sheet again, and whatever. I'm just gonna ignore her. Ha <laughs> ha, funny kitty. And she keeps doing that. I'm like, all right, Roto, you gotta stop. It's really annoying having you just go like. Your paws right next to you the whole time. I sit up and I push her away, and as I do so, a cockroach this big comes running out of the sheets right next to me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what she did is I think she caught it somewhere else in the place, carried it up up onto the bed to play with it with me. So the whole time she was like hidden my side it means there's a cockroach cuddled up to me oh. and spooning me while I was sleeping. Cockroach scurried all along the bed. I went, oh shit. And grab my blankets and covered it up, and then I had to deal with killing it somehow. Yeah, good times. <laughs> right now I'm trying to put the wires in to the input side, which is coming from our battery into this little adapter. It does its converting to go to a lower voltage. That's the main purpose of this thing. It's killing me, Smalls, killing me. What's killing you? Smalls. Oh, yeah, I hate that guy. Hmm. That's our power in. Now, turn up the multimeter. So 24.2 is what our master is. Uh, let's go and see what our cell states are on this. 24.4, cool. I'm not too happy with this. Uh, mm -hmm. Do we have any electrical tape? How are you guys coming? Okay. Got her in, got her out. Now time to go into the laptop, I guess. Checking our output, 19.6, so that's good. We're getting the proper proper voltage out. All right, this is a big moment of truth right here. If the charging icon shows up on the laptop, we know it's working. All right, here we go. I hope we don't explode. Ah!
Okay, we're drawing 0.18 amps, so. Hey, this is plugged in. We tricked it. Aren't you excited, Spencer? I'm very excited. <laughs> uh, we're, yeah, we're getting a pretty consistent pull right now. Yeah, that's, that's not good. No, that's a hot cable for sure. Yeah, it, it basically what that means is we're drawing too much through the cable, like the cable's not rated for this much. So that's what we're seeing. I brought the laptop over here where I have my little Vive station set up. The laptop is not plugged into the wall. Spencer's going to bring the battery over, we're gonna plug it in, we're gonna see just how hot things get. Literally, actually, because the cable running from the battery to the laptop is apparently getting too hot. All right, I'm gonna and power up some VR. We're definitely get some more heat off of this now that some actual amperage is being pulled through it, but I think we're good. Power up a game, I guess. All right, here I'm watching Swordmaster VR. Something weird's going on. I'm getting some abnormalities. It's not pulling the amperage it needs to. Yep, frame rate's jacked. For a moment it got smooth and then it dropped down again. See, it's smooth, it's smooth, it's great, it's great, it's all working. Wait, it's all working now. What happened? It's running fantastically. Oh, now it's not. It's like it's flipping back and forth between battery and wall outlet. Okay, that's corresponding to what I'm seeing over here for amperage being pulled. I think we need a thicker wire. This adapter is getting really hot. How hot? Oh, 119 now. And the cable, uh, 105. It's holding strong at a low frame rate. Like, it's not actually crashing. It gives me the impression it's sucking power, but not sucking enough power. And from the readings I'm getting from this thing, we're not getting what we should. Seems like it's just a matter of wires now. We gotta get the right wires. We got a big cup. What are you doing? No. Hey, what's up, Seven Nico second unit? Hello, first <laughs> I'm surprised by the number of people on today's video that are commenting like, oh, the Titan X is better, or the Teslas, or the Quadros. It's like, they're more powerful, they are not better. There's a difference. Better is power per dollar. The 1080 is a very powerful card at a decent price. A Titan X is a more powerful card at a much more expensive price. If you were to break it down to like coup de core per dollar, it's much more expensive for the Titan X. And so therefore, we're able to get more 1080s for the same price. The Titan X is twice as expensive as the 1080, but it's not twice as powerful. So, by pure logic, it's not a better card. Having just a crap ton of CUDA cores will make my rendering faster. That's pretty much all I care about. And then we get in comments like this. Like, I mean, it's not like the Titan X exists or anything, or Teslas, or Quadros. And then another guy's like, shh, they have no clue about the technology that they use to make a living. It's hilarious to watch. They've baited me. They have baited me. I have to respond now. <laughs>